things you need to know before going to Ghana for Dirty December. Hey you, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. As you can tell by the title, we are talking about Dirty December or going to Ghana in general because yeah, we can travel anytime. But I say Dirty December is a one-time experience and we move on to something else because I did it and I ain't going back, but I had a good time, okay? With all that, I am your girl. Well, I would like to think I know a lot, but we will get into it. And like always, let me know if you have any questions. If you do like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you like this pretty face and you wanna see more of moi, subscribe. If you have not seen my Ghana vlogs, I'll put them here so you know. Your girl knows what she's talking about. You want to go to Ghana. I hope you already bought your ticket. Last year, actually, when I was going, my ticket was 2700 2700 for three weeks is crazy. Travel requirements, you don't need your COVID, but I say still bring your COVID card. You do need a visa for Ghana. So when I was going did it through Lux Travel Ghana, every trip I do take, I use them. They offer visa, and since they're based in Ghana, I trust them. And I think it was 100 and something or two something. I'll put the prices on the screen of what I did pay but yes so i was do i was trying to go the easy route to do my visa myself then they started asking me for where i'm going to live and who is in ghana that i will be staying with the person's passport i'm like i don't know nobody from a can of paint in ghana i mean i know people but like to be asking them for their passports and stuff so i looked up travel agencies in ghana and i came across lux travel ghana we did application in november obviously you guys saw me go to costa rica in november so it was time for me to actually go in with my physical passport so when i got there the lady was like in your passport and i'm thinking i'm traveling in three days i need my passport so i was just like you know what i i brought my black behind back home because I said, mm -mm, if anything, I will expedite it. So it takes three weeks to get your Ghana visa. I got the email that my visa was ready like a week before my trip. So I wouldn't say wait that long. Of course, you can expedite it, but just save some money. Use that extra $100 to cash out in Ghana, okay? This is one thing that I wish I knew before going. You don't really need to get your yellow fever card here before going to Ghana. Once you land, the first desk once you land they will ask you for your passport they will look inside to see your visa and then they will ask you for your yellow fever card once you get there and they ask you for your yellow fever card tell them hey i'm going to take my shot here at terminal two they do offer the yellow fever in ghana at the airport in terminal two i'm gonna repeat this one more time and one more time only because i want y'all to enjoy your trip and also save money here because in my situation when i was looking for yellow fever appointments they did not have any appointments and so my parents were like you can do it in terminal two so i'm like oh okay so i literally traveled and you know here in america they don't care for the yellow fever card but in ghana they do so here nobody asked me for my yellow fever i got through the airport what are my 10 hour flight everything was gochi but once you do land tell them my card expired i'm about to renew it on terminal two easy peasy i'm not gonna go into that we're adults here okay this is the outfit of the day it's not of the day of the, of the video it's been so long but yeah this is what i'm wearing this was um i wish i could plug her but every single time i get cute outfits i pay for it obviously but it takes so long so i don't even want to plug them because if y'all cuss me out for your items being delayed i'll cuss you out back so we're not gonna do that <laughs> And with everything I am telling you, if you do want me to go in depth, just follow me on Instagram and shoot me a message. Something going on on Instagram, if you don't follow me and you message me, I would not see it whatsoever. And I'm not no mean girl. So make sure you follow and then ask me a question so I can see it. In summary, 
for traveling in Ghana, you need your visa. I got the five year. You need your passport and also the yellow fever card, which you can do it once you land in Ghana in Terminal 2. Let's say it again, Terminal 2. So the first lesson, get your yellow fever card once you do land in Ghana in what? Terminal 2. Visa application, I did it through Lux Travels GH on Instagram. Their website, I will link that down below. You can also book your Ghana ticket through them and you know, let them know that I referred you so you can get a little, little sum sum, okay? You're welcome. You're welcome. So when it comes to exchanging money, make sure before you leave, once you're packing your stuff, make sure you go to the bank and change your hundred dollar bills to the blue one the blue cheese that's what they want in ghana they don't want the old hundred if you take the old hundred they would give you less money they want the blue cheese repeat after me they want the blue cheese and if you don't know the blue cheese let me show y'all the blue cheese <laughs> this is the blue cheese they want y'all when i say blue cheese I don't mean the dressing. I mean this. So okay. when you're going, make sure all the hundred dollar bills you have is blue cheese. Once you get to Ghana, and I am speaking in a point of view where you go and you don't know anybody, you can do an exchange at the airport, but please know that their rating is ASS. Okay? Butthole. Booty crack. Down booty booty crack. It ain't worth it. But I would say change like $20 or something. Don't change your blue cheese at the airport. $20 can get you your transportation or wherever you're going, okay? We'll get into that later on. But once you do get out of the airport and you are door the Explorer, find those Forex places. So if you type on Google, it will be like Forex Exchange and it will like all pop up. And read the reviews, okay? Read the reviews. What I recommend but please i'm a local i'm a villager i'm a villager <laughs> what i recommend is for you to go to the halajis yeah we love the halajis the halajis love blue cheese okay they love the blue cheese okay they love the blue cheese the halajis and we love the halajis because they love the blue cheese if they tell you the rating is 15 or it's 12 you can be like oh uncle why not 14 you know but don't do too much okay don't do too much because they ain't no fools but <laughs> yes yeah, so michelle if you guys don't know michelle or michelle is a dj michelle is like we're like this locked in okay evil twin locked in and she's just in ghana she worked at the airport for some time she told me to tell y'all and i quote don't use forex bureau at the airport rate is ridiculous so michelle is like you know proper i'm just i'm over here telling you it's ass but she said the rate is ridiculous okay so listen to michelle if you don't listen to me so in summary if you're going they want blue cheese blue cheese take that blue cheese but also bring fifty dollars twenty dollars five dollars you know the last resort at the airport change like twenty dollars and ask for small bills in ghana cities and once you are out of the airport, you can go to the Alajis, all the Forex bureaus outside of the airport. They have better ratings. You're welcome. So I was debating to actually put you out on because this might start a war. Um, but I'm going to take one for the team, okay? So this is serious me. See, I ain't kicking. I ain't kicking. Like, I already told y'all the first people... Once you get out of the plane, down the line, you go to loop, loop, loop. Mm -hmm. The first people who ask you for the yellow fever, what did I tell you? Tell them you're going to do it at Terminal 2. Once you say Terminal 2, they know. Okay. Okay. Okay? Okay. Second people, where are you staying? Mm. You tell them this area. So if you're like, if you book the hotel, know where, which area it is, just so they know. Okay. You know what you're talking about, okay? Speak English. Speak English. Like before I even start, speak English. I'm talking about put the best brothel you have ever said to a. Put that 
once you land, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Am I going to get canceled for this? Because I feel like I'm sharing too much. I feel like I'm sharing too much. And it's going to bite my behind one day. Visualize you going out of the airport. You follow the signs, you know, follow this way, follow this way. Because everybody, they don't care if you're coming from China, Italy, London, everybody going through that little loop. It's one one place, okay? It ain't that big of an airport. You now have to pay $7 at the airport for luggage fumigation. That's what I'm saying. Carry small change. So don't just bring blue cheese. No, we're not doing that. Bring fives and twenties, okay? I want you to actually listen to me like I'm being dead, dead serious, okay? I'm, like it's, it's that serious. So before, once you get your luggage, you're pushing it out. You were like, wow, this is goner, goner. Like, this is beautiful, wow. Before you even get your luggages, some people will come, madam, boss, do you need help? Boss, madam, first lady, madam, boss, tell them, no, thank you, I'm good. Listen all, please, because I had to learn it the hard way, okay? So, oh, my family's outside waiting for me. Oh, no, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Silly guy. <laughs> to the uncles at the airport, like I do apologize firsthand, like I actually apologize, okay? But uncle, we're tired. We're actually very, very tired. So if you're not listening to anything I'm saying, you will pay, you will bribe them on the first table, you will bribe them for the luggage because it's free. That's three right there. Three people will get cash. Done is lovely. But let me tell you one thing. Them people, the last people you see before you exit the airport, they would, one, stop you. They stop every. Do they stop everybody? Because I feel like when I go, it's like I'm either the last person or something, something, okay? If they stop you, they will say, what's in your bag? Are you bringing stuff to sell here? No, I'm just coming on vacation. I told you to put your best voice on, okay? Just speak as proper as you can, <laughs> okay? Speak as proper as you can. If you know how to speak that language, speak that language, okay? Speak that language. But, who brought from all your doa? Let me speak my fancy. So, who brought from all your doa? Okay. Yeah. They don't even want any noise, okay? Because you already know what they say about Akata people. So, if you want to be Akata that day in the airport, please be Akata, okay? Because they don't want to hear wham, wham, nothing. Okay, quick tips. If you are bringing like new clothes like me, I like to do my try on hauls and stuff. If you keep your tags in, just make sure, keep them at the bottom of the suitcase because once they do open your suitcase, they will be looking through, okay? What causes attraction for me is my bag. This is my bag. And you work there, yeah, me too. I will stop you because bibs, this look like big money, okay? Because what is this? What animal are you carrying? What animal is this? <laughs> I know they're going to be stopping me and I'm already prepared. Uncle, no, I'm here to visit my family. They're actually outside right now. Uncle, no. No, I don't have any new, I don't have anything. You can check. So I give them this bag because obviously I know why they stopped because of the bag. I have three suitcases, but you they only checked this one bag. I don't know why. Even when I came back from Jamaica, they literally looked through this bag. They didn't look at my suitcases whatsoever. They want this bag. I don't know why. My trick that I do is I don't have anything. You can check, like you can check, but just close it up how it is because I struggle to close in the first place, so I don't want no hustle. I'm already tired. I traveled 10 hours, uncle, sitting down. Like, my period is on. Like, I'm tired, uncle. Charlie. 
if you are in a heat, you know what to do. So I won't even talk much. But just know before you exit that airport, they will try to stop you and they want money. They don't want nothing but money. If I'm wrong, please put it down in the comment section and educate us. But for me and everybody who has been to God, like everybody knows at the airport, they want money. When I went in June, this past June, it was these girls that were there. And obviously I'm like pushing my thing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't bring this blue one. I have a purple one. I have a purple, pink, and blue one. So I took my purple one. The girl just looked. And obviously, they tell me I don't look Ghanaian. I don't know what Ghanaians are supposed to look like. So I'm walking, and I hear one of the girls say, Idia, but Janessica. Meaning like, they about to get money from me. You get what I'm saying? So the girl asks me, what's in your bag? Speaking English, and then the rest, obviously, they're speaking Chi. They don't know that I know the language. So she was like, what's in your bag? I'm like, nothing really important. Like at this point, I'm irritated because once I know that you are chatting shit, it's a problem. But I'm like, I'm almost through the doors, almost through, I'm almost there. So long story short, the girl was like, oh, okay, like you can go. And one of the girls moved her hand and was like, Oh, man, meaning she won't give you nothing. I looked at her. I said, what do you exactly want from me? Like, what what exactly do you want? And once I responded, obviously she knew that, oh, she, 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 nakata. So she fucked. So she said, oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. And it was just like, the way I pushed my, at this point, I was already wearing a hoodie. I was you know, the skies. I was when I was surprising DJ Mish. So I was already like undercover, undercover. So I let it slide because I didn't want to do too much. But what do you mean, oh my hand she? Like, so you want money before I leave? Like, dang. I will tell you, just finesse, just finesse your way out of that airport. The airport is like money. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but you have to go to experience experience it yourself. I'm just saying, however many times I've been to Ghana, that's what I always experience. It's always part one, money, part two, money, part three, money, before you even leave the airport. You get what I'm saying? I don't know the summary for this, but in conclusion, put your best English, okay? Or speak the best native tongue you have. That's for Ghana. Don't go and speak Spanish in Ghana. Please speak Fanti Chi, Ghana, all of, all of them things, okay? Okay. And be respectful. Please, I'm saying all of this, but please be respectful to them because they're real uncles over there, okay? Oh, and a tip from Michelle. So Michelle said, stay close to center of town. So obviously we're all traveling. Cry is the main attraction for Ghana. She said, Labadi, Osu, Continent, Airport, East Legon, Adenta, Tiado. What the hell is that? Anywhere close to the Accra Mall. She said because once you end up in like staying in the Kasua or Oyibi, hey, I need Krama Kaya. Getting an Uber would be ASS because. That's too far and they, they wouldn't want to want to bring you all the way to where the event and all of that will be hosting in Accra. So make sure you stay in Labadi, Osu, Continent, Airport, East Legon, Adenta, and Tiado. Whatever wherever that one is. Michelle, I never heard you say this word before, but yeah. Thank you. Say thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Follow DJ Mish. <laughs> Another thing you do need is to download WhatsApp. Not everybody has an iPhone to be texting over Wi-Fi, so WhatsApp is like the main thing. Also download Wave. Wave is like a mobile sending app. Also tap tap send is there. Those are like mobile money. In Ghana, what they do use is Wave, tap tap send, Momo, like you hear Momo a lot those are all mobile money and that's how you know like cash app 
So all of those things in summary is like cash up. I ain't going going too deep because the, the videos is already getting long. So we've talked about the hustle in the airport. But once you get out, oh, I feel the heat attack you. The wind, but the heat, but the wind, but the heat. Just feel it, okay? Once you exit the airport, right on your left side, on your left side, you will see like a staircase and then the alleyway and the first door you do see there on the left side, they do have SIM cards. So when I first went to Ghana, that's where Michelle did my SIM card for me. She got me Vodafone and she used my passport. So just go in and get your SIM. Or unless you do have AT&T or Verizon where you can pay that $30 a day or whatever they do or out of the country, but it is affordable to go that local route, which is Vodafone, they have MTN, that's like AT&T, Verizon, you know. Michelle was telling me it's good to have a Ghanaian SIM card, meaning the Vodafone, the MTN SIM card with Momo on it. And I was telling you, Momo is like Cash App. When you go, you will hear Momo a lot. Sometimes if you go to a restaurant, they don't take cards. You can be like, oh, what's your Momo? It's like you're se sending someone Zelle money or Cash App. When it comes to transportation in Ghana, they do have Uber in Ghana. They have Yango, which is also like Uber. Then they have both. The drivers in Ghana, they want their payment in cash someone was telling me once you reach to ghana uninstall the app and then reinstall the app so it knows that you are in ghana so it gives you that cash option every time i'm there i either have to ask michelle to do my transportation for me like if i'm getting my hair done and then once i'm in the car and the ride is over I pay them in cash. Yes, you can do the credit or debit, but some drivers will cancel your trip. So cash only. Okay. And before I even go any further, people in Ghana, they're humans, okay? Some of them are the most nicest humans I've ever met. So humble. So I please encourage you to be nice to everybody. Don't go acting like your shit don't stink. You in a different country, so show our country respect. It does not hurt to be nice. It does not hurt to say hi bye have a nice day how are you doing in ghana we grew up automatically greeting everyone we saw growing up just give the country and their people respect michelle told me to tell y'all to be open-minded when you're in ghana because people are really nice so with all that being said let's get into the necessities so these are things i would say definitely pack in your hand luggage or your luggage to ghana okay the first thing will be mosquito repellent i feel like the mosquitoes be knowing you are foreigner so they'll be coming they'll be like attack Back. Well, this is what I do recommend. I was complaining to my father. I said, I keep biting me. He gave me this. And y'all, when I say they stay the F away from me, yeah, this is it. It's called Oh My Shia Repellent. So if you do go to Ghana, I would definitely, definitely recommend her. You can literally be outside and you open this, the mosquitoes will not come near you. I promise you that. I even took it to Jamaica. I was not playing, okay? These two products together, I promise you, the mosquitoes would bye bye. For real, they will bye bye. I also recommend this anti shave stick for the thick girls. This is by First Aid Beauty. Another necessity that I did already speak about is the blue cheese. Like, I ain't playing. Bring your $100 bills, bring your 20s, your 5s, and 1s, okay? You also will need a hand fan. Those hand fans are very handy, but I would say Ghana also has cool air. Like, I know it's hot but it also has cool air so when i'm even there i don't use a hand fan like you would never catch me but i would say carry it because not everybody is used to the heat this is the one i do have i have so many on my amazon storefront and then you just close it and it is like handy i will put everything under travel needs on my amazon storefront you probably don't need this but you need hand sanitizer and floss i know this is so random i personally be needing floss when you're eating chichenga the meat kebabs another thing that you would need and that should have been number one is universal plugs uh, you can find those on amazon ghana doesn't have what the plugs we have in the u.s obviously and honestly before we even go into the 
nightlife thing just be careful wherever you are be on the lookout if you're in a car make sure um the window is like up don't leave the window down if you're like holding your phone or whatever because people do be snatching phones if you've seen my last vlog my Ghana vlog my recent one you know people can naturally tell that you are an outsider so carry yourself well and be on the lookout like you can never be too cautious okay that's all i'm gonna say you can never be too cautious people are friendly but you can never be too cautious okay why does it feel like i am a teacher like i feel like we're in school and y'all listening to me but i don't want it to be like i'm talking 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 but then again i want y'all to actually know things before you go so you know you don't get ripped off or used or like you get what i'm saying so before the nightlife I'm gonna give y'all places to go. I'm gonna put a list on the screen. Food spots, excursion spots, museums, Aubrey and Elnina Castle, Cape Coast Castle. So I'll put all those things on the screen. And also if you do want spas, a day outside of Accra or something, you know, luxury, follow Baba's TikTok because she posts getaways in Ghana. She posts massages in Accra nightlife like she has a whole list so i'll put the list on the screen as well as put her at and link it in the description for tiktok so she'll be a go-to for any ghana activity whatever and then michelle since she's a dj will be your nightlife queen okay and every week in accra it's like different restaurants open up like every single week is a different spot you can go eat or try or go play like it's it's so many things you can do in Accra and and I don't want you to just think Ghana is just partying yes you can go party but baby slave trade was down there so go learn about yourself a little bit okay and it can even be like just one day out of your trip just go learn about the history and all of that you can hit a uh, site and trips on instagram i haven't ever used them because some of the things you can just google and go yourself but one thing i do like and i what i do see is people going to the Aubrey falls um, cape coast castle to get the experience keep that in mind if you want to do like excursions in ghana like sightseeing and everything their name is sight and trips on instagram okay. i know a cry is lit but takrade i'm a fun team takrade so you're fun i'm called season like it's it's beautiful you get what i'm saying so you can even go there for christmas in takrade i'm yeah i'm plugging my people on go to takrade for um 25th because that's anchor season you're welcome <laughs> and also if you're going to ghana wait to do your nails and toes until you get to ghana because it's, it is cheaper so i would say wait to get your nails done and treat yourself over there because it's, it is cheaper okay we're in a whole different country for most restaurants when you do go if you see the list that i put you do not need reservation the only place that i went and it is new is called ilana so they're new i wouldn't even recommend there like the food is mid to be honest in my opinion i just went for pictures after i ate that food my throat was kind of a little funny and speaking of throat being funny, do not drink the water in Ghana. Always ask for a bottle of water. Y'all, if you find a good food spot that you love and it does not upset your tummy as much, <laughs> please stick with it. Like, stick with it for morning, breakfast, dinner if you could, okay? Because once you find another spot that upsets your stomach, you going to be mad, okay? Even in your necessities, add tums to it okay because in ghana their food is not processed like everywhere else okay it's not processed this is all organic so it will like literally go through your body like water and you're gonna be on the toilet for a while after every meal okay but i like it because once i'm in ghana i've been losing a little weight because it's all natural okay i'm eating and it's going right out I'm eating and it's going right out. And no waiting two or three days for it to come out. It's going to come out that day, okay? And when you go out to eat, please tip the servers. Tip, 
tip whoever is nice to you kind to you at the grocery store you can tip the bouncers y'all like just tip like people this is when you think about it people don't get paid as much in ghana so do your part and just tip be kind to people tip like it doesn't hurt okay so when someone serves you tip them like say thank you because yo it's hard over there okay and also speaking of shopping if you want to go shopping don't go alone find somebody to go with you so they can speak i told y'all they can speak the language because once they see that you're a foreigner they're going to increase that price three times and we don't want that okay we're trying to save some money we are out out of the country but we we trying to save money because we have to come back home when i'm out i'll be mute for real i love to talk but when i'm outside i let michelle do the talking <laughs> because once i open my mouth oh lord and even when i'm in ghana i tone down my accent like i really tone down my accent and you will really think like i'm there you know so because i'm human i'm gonna tone my accent down i know where i'm from you know what i'm saying like these are my people so <laughs> michelle said michelle said and i quote she said whenever you want to go shopping go with someone who, who speaks the local language so they can bargain for you please <laughs> so now we're getting into nightlife what do you think nightlife obviously that post that went viral that was on polo beach people travel for ghana's nightlife to experience ghana nightlife but it's just like everywhere but I guess you're doing the same thing you're doing here, but in Ghana, and it's longer hours. I don't know. But people love, love, love. When you talk about death to December, everybody thinks naturally. Nightlife. Nightlife. Forget eating. They want the nightlife. <laughs> nightlife is sweet, but it is draining. But it is sweet. But it is draining. But it is sweet. But it is repeated. My experience was amazing i don't really really remember things but i know i documented everything on my tiktok and i will post the day one because i did it like to like i did different episodes like daily i would do it the day one so when you click on it you go on my tiktok and then you will see the rest so it was lit okay it was lit afrochella i was there um the black star whatever i was there i was there i was everywhere okay but home thanks to michelle because she's the dj and uncle dennis and uncle iso like everything was good okay so speaking of djs we have dj mish that's our queen dj in my head michelle is the only female dj in this world might be biased but a girl is good, okay? So for nightlife, I would say follow these three DJs, DJ Mish, DJ Dennis, and DJ Iso. So December, if you follow them, obviously you will meet other DJs also. Even a random month trip to Ghana, they are there. This is their job. They will even do your wedding if you want them to. You get what I'm saying? So just follow them for nightlife. So with these three DJs, they do have a group called The Playlist. So it's usually at Ali Bar. So I don't know if by December is going to be a different location. So follow The Playlist, follow DJ Mish, follow DJ Dennis, and then follow DJ Iso. And also another nightlife will be Black Volta on instagram they have all the list monthly events they have everything on their instagram literally so all the big events they have that scheduled and it's so easy and i'll put like a screenshot of how it usually looks like it's like okay this month is gonna be lit nine life it calls traffic so if you're going prepare for traffic okay if you're not going zoom into the event like it's gonna be traffic in the parking lot the line like it's gonna be traffic in general so just be on the lookout for that and mentally prepare yourself if you get car sick and all of that just mentally prepare yourself that it's gonna be like traffic like two hour traffic yeah no joke also just follow the djs it's real y'all follow the djs like this is my tip if you go somewhere and you love the music right go to that dj and get their instagram so you can track them so you can go have your fun to whatever music you want to hear okay for nightlife that's a big tip because i was watching this lady she was american she went to ghana and she was just complaining that 
all the places were playing Americanized music. But you have to understand that Ghana is attraction for outsiders. So now they're trying to base their music, even the restaurants, how it looks is like, it's like Americanized or like it's foreign, you know? It's rare for you to see real Ghanaian things anymore in my opinion. Yeah, the lady was just saying when she went to Ghana, it was all Americanized music. And if she wanted to listen to Jay-Z and all of that, like she would have stayed in America, which I understood her frustration. And I heard, I was like, oh. Last thing, if you want to get your hair done, Ghana is known, you know, when you go to Africa, you get, you get your 30 inch buzz down, braids or whatever. Go to the Studios. Princess Berlin owns that. They do all kinds of not less with the spirals the long spiral pretty pretty braids they do all of that whatever hairstyle you want so dia studios will get you right when it comes to your braids when you are in ghana accra to be specific and also don't be scared to go to the local shops too mine is from a local shop i did want to go to dia studios but it was really far from where i was so michelle took me to a local braider and she got me right okay period <laughs> that is the end of this video i hope you liked it and i hope all the information i did give you was very very helpful this trip to ghana i hope you'll be more wiser more free more respectful to anybody you meet it's gonna be a wonderful time ghanaians are always so nice but you can never be too cautious with strangers so i do understand but just be respectful to everyone okay tip people that serve you enjoy your stay the nightlife whatever you want to do do it go to go learn about yourself at a castle chair go to the beach eat some sausages eat some kebab like just enjoy your stay okay because people save a whole year the whole year people are saving just to go to ghana and relax like it's it's a peaceful it's a peaceful country for sure and i hope this video was somehow helpful somehow helpful for you if you did like this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more if you want to see more of me so if anything i will see you in ghana Mwah!